My, my military traits transfer into the pest control industry, um, mostly with the saying that we had in the military of improvise, adapt, and overcome. In the pest control world, a lot of situations are not uh, textbook situations where you're going to have to think outside of the box a little bit in order to solve the problem. Being in the military prepares you for working in the pest management industry um, in a lot of different ways. Uh, you learn from skills like time management, uh, stress management, uh, attention to detail, uh, which are all important uh, whenever dealing with, uh, with pest activity. Uh, one of the most important things I think um, the military taught me was conflict resolution. Whenever you go into the, the Army or Navy or whatever branch of service you're in, uh, you're exposed to people from all walks of life. Um, and you have to learn to deal with those people. And uh, I think uh, that translates into the pest control world because a, a good technician goes out and gets rid of pest activity. Uh, a great technician shines whenever things don't work out right the first time. Standard operating procedures apply to the pest control industry because you have to follow guidelines dictated by each state so you don't break the law, so you don't hurt the environment, or, and you don't harm the people that you're trying to help. You need to be on time, you need to work with integrity, you know, I basically try to apply the same ethics that were instilled in the military to um, my current role as an outside sales professional. Some of the differences, you get to go home every night, you get to live where you want to live, the money's a lot better, and you're not in danger really, ever. You know, in the military, you've, you, you're required to defend, protect, and in the pest control business, you're protecting and you're defending only in a different capacity. You're uh, protecting people from certain pests and, and, and whatnot. To be able to provide a job for a gentleman who is actually a veteran uh, makes me feel really good. Uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of veterans are getting out of the military um, and they, they have to try and find a job. Um, in the case of the gentleman that I'm hiring, he's been in the military for 22 years. Um, he knows nothing but Army. And uh, for me to be, able to, to be able to take him under my wing and teach him a trade where he can uh, uh, not have to be in a military environment and do the things he had to do in the military to earn his income, um, that, that's important to me. I feel like veterans would like this industry because of um, their already innate ability to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Thinking outside of the box, showing up on time, looking sharp and looking professional, which the Marine Corps teaches you to do, um, transfers very easily over into the pest control industry. If you're a veteran, you're going to love the pest control industry because you're going to get the same structure but with more freedom and it's just a way for you to still work on your own while still being part of a team. I would uh, recommend that other veterans would uh, get into this industry um, because it is a viable career. Uh, this is not a job. Um, it, it's, a, it's something that you can spend your, your working years doing and you can provide a quality income for your family. Uh, it's rewarding work. Um, you're helping people all day long. You get some freedom, yet you get your structure, and it's a great way to just make decent money and be yourself. And all the training is provided for you just like you were in the Army. It's a tough economy and uh, the job market isn't quite what it used to be and the pest control industry isn't going away. We're always going to have pests and people will always need to deal with those pests and, and so there will always be a demand for uh, pest control services. So there's certainly uh, job security in a, in a pest control related business. Personally, I, I met the owner through a veteran organization. Um, he was a, a Vietnam vet. I'm an Iraq vet. Uh, we kind of bonded over that. Him and I share very similar interests, and uh, the more he talked about it with me, the more I realized why this was a, a good fit as far as being um, independent, looking sharp, solving problems, thinking outside of the box, those sort of things.